Hello, this is Gina and Ken at home in our pajamas like everybody else. And this is the rose we are going to make today. And this is what you would have had received in your kits. Two strips of cedar and a piece of white string and a piece of green tape for your stem and the pen that you're going to wrap your rose in. So Ken will show you how to begin the cedar rose. <clears throat> Remember it's patience. Okay, we're starting by getting our string prepared ahead of time with the first knot because it's easier than doing it the knot when you're trying to hold things together. So you get the knot in about the middle. Just makes things a little simpler. Okay, here we go with our two pieces of cedar. I'm putting the black underneath just for contrast. So now we cross, make like an X, about an inch and a half on each end. And we start by folding. You see how that comes out even with the edge of this one here? It's about the right angle. So we're going to do that three times to start. And remember, we fold, we don't pull down like that because it'll wrinkled up here. You have to fold each time just to make it look nicer. Okay, now we've got those three pieces in place. We're going to use our pen and stick that right there, right under the black tab sticking out here. And we'll wrap this piece around the pen and the black piece underneath. So now once we get that in place, we're going to hold it and get our string. And you just slide it up to the position here where it's going to be held. Right there is good. I'll tie it once and I'm going to go around a second time here. Just to ensure that it doesn't fall apart on me while I'm doing the rest of the rows. Nice and snug. The string will hold it in place. Okay, we're back to our third wrap here. Now we'll start with another fold. And here we will start wrapping around the rows like so. And you're going to keep the edges of this here up high so that it your petals or your rows is up high. So we keep folding and rolling. And once you get it started, it's good to grab it like this, then it st stays in place easier and you don't get writer's cramp. And you just keep rolling and folding and rolling, keeping the edge all even there and folding and folding and rolling. We just keep folding and rolling. Remember, we're not pulling down on the edge here because you don't want it wrinkled. Keep folding and rolling, folding, rolling, and folding. It doesn't have to be really, really tight in here 
If it's too tight, then you get a real small rose. You can keep it fairly loose, but see, keep it together there. Folding and rolling, folding, and before you know it, you'll be at the end of your strips. And that's when we tie it down with the rest of the string. Keep folding till you do get there. Folding and rolling. Fold. And then this last little bit can actually go to the stem. Sometimes I like to leave a little piece sticking out. Looks cute like a, a leaf. This one would be a black leaf. We'll hold it into place while we tie our string around it. Now we're trying to get that knot in there. Once you get the knot in there, Pull it snugly so it stays in place and you should be okay now after this because then we'll use our green strips go right to the bottom and that'll be the last knot it's not a knot it's just a just tie it down now we'll just tuck those around till they come together and then we'll grab our green tape and start wrapping this to hide our string. It's fairly strong paper so you can pull a little bit on it just to make it snug. And you go all the way down so that you hide this black piece here. When you get down there, you can head back up. Always check and see how much you got here because you need some to tie it down. So now we'll make a loop, poke in through. You pull it fairly snug. But remember, not too hard because you, you can break it. And do it a second time just so that it's secure. Then you can break that part off. And roll it, squeeze it. And then hold it into place and if you have a pair of scissors handy you can make a little black leaf out of this or we'll return to a brown to make sure the ends squared off because it can when they dry they get sharp and there's your little rose with the red, red stamen And that'll hold together nicely when it's dry. And it has another purpose you can write with it. Or just sit it pretty with a bunch more that you, you, can, you can make. And there's your rose. Have a great day. Thank you.